There is the full list. Pretty much uh, all the spots starting to be decided. Frank, uh, we've got this list. Who's already qualified? Of the teams we've seen so far and just really focusing in on the qualification process, who has impressed you the most? Uh, I would say not too many because, uh, except maybe Belgium, because they've been very consistent, you know, getting all the, the points that they, you can get, you know, I think it was 27 in nine games. So um, I would put Belgium, but also with the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands will surprise. I'm sure Stevie is going to back me up on that. Uh, and of course, not because I'm only French, but because I think France have a chance to, to win it and do the double you know, after winning the, the World Cup. Craig, has anyone really impressed us Italy. Here? Italy? Yeah, not because they won 9-1. Sorry, I was just looking at trying to find what pot. France are in pot too. Confusing. I'm, I'm confused anyway. Yeah. Dale Johnson, our colleague at ESPN UK, will be tweeting about it. But Italy, bear in mind where they came from. You know, under the previous manager, Venturi, and they were bad and awful to watch. Went out to Sweden in the playoffs. I'm not saying they're going to win it, but to, to, they turned around. Goal scoring, exciting to watch, and 10 wins out of 10. They're like, they're like the new Holland, aren't they? <laughs> I mean, so that. Are they going to be your new number one the next time you're asked to do those uh, power a big, rankings? That's a big turnaround, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Going from not qualifying and being pretty poor to watch and not playing particularly well to scoring bar loads of goals and being 100% in the group. That's pretty good. Stevie, your pick of the lot? I'm going to uh, go into reverse a little. Sorry, Frank, but. I really was really high on, on the Dutch. Mm. But this last couple of games that... You they're, keep backpedalling on it. You really... Well, I'm only now, because, <laughs> you know, from back to middle, the Dutch are as good as anybody, mm -hmm. no question. But up front, it seems like they were kind of getting away with it. It seems like I got duped into it, because against Northern Ireland, going forward, they were awful. Has anybody impressed you? Because it seems like a lot of these teams have... Have flaws. I can't believe I'm going to say this, but England have actually quite impressed me. <laughs> that one hurt. That one hurt. Say what? They got some talent going forward. I mean, defensively they're not bad. You know, Chilwell, Alexander Arnold, Maguire. I mean, they're they're three real players mm. out, out, out of back four. But going forward, you know, I mean, Mason Mount can't get a game. He's been sensational in the Premier League. Sancho can't get a game. You know, he got Kane scoring goals. Madison. Madison, not not a starter. You got Sterling. I mean, going forward, they're, they're fantastic. And in Declan Rice, I think he's, he's no question going to be their defensive midfielder who can actually pass the ball as well. Ali? Well, we're talking about the same England team that lost to the Czech Republic. And so, I, I'm, in terms of impressive, nobody has really been far and away the best team in this qualification process. You can say Belgium if you trust that this is a team that, that is ready for the prime time, that is ready to make that run in the Euros. And I have to look at a team like France, that even though they haven't been impressive, even though that they seem to be going around in circles and not really taking a step forward, they're still the World Cup champions. And they're still, at their best, just as talented as everybody else, if not more. And so they have in Kylian Mbappé that special player. They have a structure in a team that knows they can win a big tournament. All those things have value, and all those things will play a role when they play the Euros. Frank, uh, France, obviously the bookmaker favorite at 3-1. to one. We just talked about this for five, six minutes. It took to Alejandro to mention France. Why haven't they been impressive? Well, I think, I think uh, for me, they, they have the experience. I said, as Alejandro said, uh, they have the experience to, to win a tournament, so maybe it, it can't. But uh, I think, and, and you, we saw that uh, yesterday with the game against Albania, where... Uh, Didier Deschamps tried another tactic, playing at three at the back. So they tried, they tried new, new stuff. They lost Griezmann because of uh, of, uh, of his uh, transfer to to Barcelona. He's not in a, in, the, in, the, in his best. Even if he had a good game yesterday, Didier Deschamps tries, still try to find the best. Uh, position for him and to know if Giroud will play with Mbappé alongside him or if uh, they're going to play at three at front. So he's still looking for the best uh, of his team. On top of it, we don't know when it's going to happen, when Pogba is going to come back, when Kante is going to be uh, fully, fully back uh, and, and some other players. So uh, we still have some doubts about uh, if they can 
do what they did during the World Cup, uh, not forgetting that we weren't that good during the World Cup. Uh, Belgium and Brazil, they've been better. It's just they lost against France, Belgium, because I don't know why, but they, because they lost. So uh, I never thought that France would have been a champion of the world, but they did it, so it's a credit. But I still have doubts about the way they play, the way they perform, and uh, the way they can get a result. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.